Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a suggestion that makes harvesting wood a bit more interesting. So this happens randomly, so I'm just going to start chopping down some trees and see if it happens here. We don't have to get all the trees, let's just see if one appears. Oh, alright, so we got our first wood mite here. Um, it came out of the tree, it got rid of that block there. And one thing about these guys is they're really fast. And they're having a little trouble finding <laughs> that block there. But another thing they do is they like to eat the wood around you. So, yep, he saw you just ate some wood there. And they don't give anything back. So you need to be really careful with these guys. So let's try to kill him here. He's really fast and there's grass everywhere. So it's kind of difficult. Let's try. Excuse me, sir. All right, just took one hit to kill with this diamond axe. Uh, you can see he has some custom drops. He dropped some saplings were for him the seeds were just for me hitting the grass and this works on all types of logs so let's go mining in this dark wood forest oh and there's one immediately gets rid of all those logs let's see if we can't kill him a little quicker this time he goes so fast but he just has a little health there we go and we can more clearly see he has some random drops so this time we got three sticks and one sapling now one cool thing about this data pack, it's really easy to change how often these wood might spawn. So default is 10, and if, as you go higher, it gets rarer. So if you don't want to deal with them as often, you can set it to 50. Or if you want to make your people on your server not very happy, you can set it to something like 2. If this were in the real game, another cool addition would make wood mites from different types of logs have different attributes. Another thing I'd want to also make sure to fix is that player place logs wouldn't do this. I wouldn't want wood mites spawning from your house, so they wouldn't be destroying it. <laughs> yeah. Testing if players place the blocks is not something easily done with commands. If you want to try this out for yourself, there's a link to the data pack in the video description. Thanks for the feedback on the last video. The mic was a little quiet, and hopefully I fixed it on this one. As always, more feedback is appreciated in the comment section. And if you really loved it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time, everybody.